During our work, what we found was that Staphylococcus secretes a large toxin, which in fact doesn't target human cells, but it targets and kills other strains of Staphylococcus. So what we found actually is it's using this secretion system to compete with very closely related strains. About 30% of the population at any one time are carriers of Staph aureus, and it lives quite happily on the skin and in the nose, and it doesn't really cause any kind of infection. But certain types of people are more prone to infection with Staph. So, for example, if you have eczema, um, then Staphylococcus is responsible for causing flares when the eczema flares up, um, and it can cause other types of disease. So although it lives as a commensal, it's ready and prepared to become a pathogen if the opportunity arises. Um, and part of that um, process of infecting is that it has to colonise. Okay, so it has to get a foothold within our bodies. And to do that, actually, it has to compete with the other bacteria that are already there. And there's some research has shown that when you're infected with or colonised with one strain of Staphylococcus, you actually really only tend to have one. So if another strain comes in, there's a competition between them and one of them will win out. So actually what our research has shown is that um, Staphylococcus uses this toxin that it secretes through the the secretion system to target other strains of staph and we think that that's helping it to colonise before it starts either to infect or to live on, on a human host. So where this research is going next, we think actually this is only the tip of the iceberg. We found one toxin that staph secretes through this system but we think that there's many more. So what we're trying to do now is find the armoury of toxins that staph can make to kill other strains of staph. And what we want to ultimately do is try and understand how it uses these toxins to colonise, um, for example, human skin.